I'm watching the Clippers the other night, and I turned it off when they were getting blown out. But the interesting part was when they traded Tobias Harris, and Patrick Beverly goes to management and says, uh, hey, are we tanking? And management goes, no, we're not. And who would have thought that the Clippers would even steal a game from Golden State, make the playoffs, and they have a brighter future than the Lakers do right now? They don't have a brighter future than the Lakers. I, I don't believe oh, that. Oh, yeah, they I do. Mean, no, they don't. Yeah. If, if the Lakers, if the Lakers get Anthony Davis, they're not getting Anthony Davis. Time, a, a, well, you don't know that. I mean, he's with Clutch Sports, so you don't know that. I, I don't think. First of all, let's get one thing. We don't know who got a bright future. That's that was the point I just made. It's all going to come down to where all these superstars go this summer, uh, and nobody has a bright future yet. I mean, if Anthony Davis goes to the Lakers, uh, they, they're going to be back in play. Uh, but I don't. This notion that somebody's got an advantage, nobody has an advantage. I think the Lakers, the Clippers, the Nets, uh, and the Knicks. I think it's going to be. That's what I'm saying. I think whoever gets these superstars is going to be in play, and the rest of those teams just going to be screwed for the next few years because they're going to have to spend that money. Yeah. Uh, and if you get just a couple good players and you just a uh, five or six seed, uh, I think it's going to ruin your franchise. You got to get, you got to get. Listen, let's be realistic. I think there's only two guys out there, Anthony Davis and KD, that's going to make you an instant contender. Now these other guys, um, and, and, and Kawhi is a hell of a player. Also, I don't want to. Uh, I should put him in that category. If you don't get one of those three guys. Uh, I don't like I said. You might get a guy and pay him the max, but unless you get one of those three guys, you, you're not a, a contender. Where would a 28 year old Charles Barkley want to play if you were a free agent? I would like to play in the city, uh, the city that drafted me. I mean, uh, you know, there is there is a, some loyalty to one of the reasons I respect Dirk Nowitzki. Uh, I respect Dame Lillard. You know, it, there is some law that when you've been with a franchise X amount of years, you know, I'm not chasing. I want to play in the same city that drafted me. Uh, I'm not uh, going to move. Or, uh, I'm not going to try to chase the championship and things like that. I, I don't believe in that. But do you regret going to uh, Houston? Uh, the Suns traded me to Houston. I didn't want to go to Houston. I wanted to finish my career. Yeah. Uh, in Phoenix, they traded me, but it didn't matter. I couldn't play anymore at that point. Yeah. I mean, uh, I was—I had already been in the NBA for 12 years. I was on the downside, but I never wanted to leave Phoenix. They traded me, and that was—and I had no control over that. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune into Audience Channel 239 on Directv. Stream for free on BR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.